Hello, welcome to Loft TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to look at the uh, deal menu. So once you have created a deal in Loft, you'll see the deal menu on the left hand side. It has a dollar sign and you've got the, the reference there, 126, uh, which is the brokerage reference. You've got the year and then we've obviously got the uh, deal number as well. So as you can see, as you go over to the main page, there are a number of different uh, options available to us. So at the top of the page, you're going to see a deal summary. So that contains the property address. It contains the uh, deal information. So just a brief summary. You can see this is a sell side deal. It's a standard type deal. We have our primary agent, Margaret. It's a conditional sales status at the moment. Uh, remember, deals have to be firm to be paid out in loft so we will be changing that eventually but at the moment you can see we don't have a sell price and there's quite a bit of missing information because we are eventually going to be working down these menus on the left hand side to populate our deal but as we scroll down the deal page it is a very important page it's a good snapshot of what is happening in the deal you can see in the financials holding deposit yes or no update deposit so you can see if we're holding any funds currently on this deal which you can see we're not at this time and then down below we've got the account balances so again an important uh, section of the deal you want to see how much you are currently holding in the trust account commission trust and general account if those are the accounts you have but you can see the balance in the bank account for this particular deal only and it's important that you remember these balances are just for this deal so don't get frightened if you see uh, zeros in your trust and your commission trust here this isn't connected to your actual bank account so those are not your balances in the actual bank they're just the balances on this particular deal and then as you scroll down we have a full commission breakdown so at the moment we've got all zeros on this because we haven't yet populated the deal with the commissions uh, but you can see here it's going to break down any other income total commission payable to both brokerages and you can see exactly who the funds are going to be held by total commission payable and then this one here is really important the balance of funds to be received so once we plug in all of the information on this deal we're going to start to see these figures populate and we will know the balance of funds that we are waiting on to receive from the lawyers or the title company and then over on the right hand side transaction breakdown so any financial transactions you make on the deal will appear in this section we then have the comments section which is very important because this allows uh, brokerage staff to communicate with their agents if you leave a message down here so for example you can just uh, type a quick message hit the add button this message will then become visible to everyone who has access to this deal also the agent for example will get a email notification if that's how you have their settings set up they'll get an email notification they'll also get an in-app notification to let them know that a comment has been left on the deal we often see the comment section used for things like missing signatures on documents for example if you need to send a quick message to your agent to let them know that the document is missing a signature this is the perfect place to do that and then over on the right hand side requirements now requirements are customizable for the brokerage you can set up your own requirements but these are a list of documents that you require from your agents before uh, processing the deal or before the end of the deal so you can see here we've got some of the uh, general type documents for example purchase contracts so if i wanted to log that the purchase contract had been received and i'd reviewed it and everything was fine i can click on the purchase contract which will open up this section i can then go ahead and attach the document so this will search all of my attached documents on the deal and you can see here i have a purchase contract i will select the purchase contract i'll hit the close button so now in my requirements list i have a purchase contract which is uh, populated with an attachment so once i've reviewed that document i can hit the start button to let the system know i have started to review that document once i'm satisfied that the document is complete and everything looks good i just hit the finish button it will mark it up as a finished object on the uh, requirements page 
So you can work through this list and it's a good way of keeping a track of all those documents that have been reviewed before you pay out a deal. And then the very last section on the deals menu is activity down at the bottom. And this is effectively an audit trail. It lets you know exactly what's happened on the deal. You can see here I created the deal, uploaded uh, the MLS sheet and so on. So that's the deal menu. Uh, we've just uh, covered that on the left hand side here, the one with the numbers. Remember, you will come in and out of this page just to check on various bits and pieces of the deal. And if you just want a snapshot of that deal, uh, but that is the deal menu page.